Now, what about plain old nova stars? Are they just somehow smaller versions of supernovas? A nova is something very different. It really is something that only happens in binary stars. Sometimes one of the binary stars has gone to its white dwarf phase. You know, it's just a dead little cinder orbiting its companion star. And then the, uh, there actually may be material falling off one of these binary stars onto the white dwarf. Just about every case, they're made up of a main sequence star like the sun or somewhat less massive and a white dwarf star. The white dwarf is acting as the vampire. It's sucking hydrogen rich matter off of its companion into a ring around itself and then onto its surface. And when you accumulate a small amount, just about one part in 10,000 of the mass of the sun on top of the white dwarf, you have what we call a thermonuclear runaway. Well, I like to compare that to pouring gasoline on a smoldering fire, because you're pouring fresh hydrogen onto a star that's burned up all its hydrogen. And eventually, when enough hydrogen builds up on the surface of the white dwarf, it'll undergo a thermonuclear runaway and it'd be like having thousands of hydrogen bombs all over the surface of the White Dwarf. So you have a titanic explosion then on the surface of the White Dwarf, which throws material then out into space at thousands of miles per second. Now, once you blow that material off and the White Dwarf is sitting there naked again, it can continue to feed off of its companion. And it'll do so somewhere between 10,000 and 100,000 times over billions of years.